Hi guys! You remember Paulina from another Voms and Noms? Hello! We are starting our own travel series. Where we travel across our own country to find Asian markets and restaurants. We both have our parts. I film everything. And I write all the info on my blog. So enjoy the series! We search so you don't have to. First thing we did was Wakyu gift shop, which is a gift shop with all awesome stuff. All from China, Japan and Korea. And they are really cool and they have a lot of awesome stuff. Next to this gift shop is a sushi bar. This is a dim sum restaurant. And across the street is a new restaurant. They were putting up the sign here. Next to the Vietnamese restaurant is still a little sumo. This was the first Asian market we saw in Chinatown. And I was already really excited because, yeah, you know, I'm a big fan of Asian markets. It's a really nice shop and I think this one is a little bit cheaper than the other one. And the second Asian market we saw was the Oriental. This is really a big freaking epic Asian market, seriously. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. And I could walk around in this Asian market for hours. It was really cool. Near the exit they had all kinds of fresh foods and it looked all really tasty. And of course we had to try something so we tried gyozas. One of my favorite things to make and these were really good. We went to this really cute little bakery and I was filming there and Pauline just felt awkward so she bought something <laughs> only because she felt awkward. And there's a little gift shop which is a really cute gift shop but it's pretty expensive and we couldn't film there so sorry guys. And this is the Oriental Express, it's a Chinese restaurant and the menu is outside. So you can see on the outside what you can order. This is a bubble tea shop. They have two of them in Rotterdam. We couldn't film inside, so yeah, here's only the outside. This was really confusing because they have two elevators. One is going to the first restaurant and the other one is going to the other one. There's a daily walk. This is a weird one, this is iPhone 6 and above iPhone 6 is a walk restaurant. And this is Nom Nom Bubble Tea. Uh, we are doing a review on it in the new Voms and Noms, so stay tuned for that one. And then we went to Umami. And that's the restaurant where we got some lunch. Uh, it looked really stylish and really relaxed. We had a fish platter and a meat platter. Shrimp in Thai red curry and some salmon. And the meat platter had some chicken with peanut sauce and some really, really awesome honey pork and it was really delicious I really recommend this one 
sumo restaurant which is an all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant and this is Little V which is a, a little Vietnamese restaurant and it also looked really good so I want to try that one and this is Gamasot with all traditional Korean food they are right across the street of wok and salads and smoothies And you also find the Casa Goruma there, which is a little Korean shop. And of course, some work restaurants. And the pretty famous Shabu Shabu, which is also a really big all you can eat sushi restaurant. This is also a really good one if you want some sushi and Japanese grill. But we decided to eat at the kimchi bar. Oh yeah, it was really good. Also an all-you-can-eat kimchi bar. So we ordered some dishes and they prepared the meat for us at the table. Some duck bucky and bibimbap and mandu and ah, oh, it was so delicious. day. I really need to come back a few times to try all these awesome restaurants and all these awesome food and stores. So yeah, go check it out. If you want more information about the addresses of the restaurants or more information about our day, you can go to the Chimchi blog. <laughs> 